father's sweet, my mother's black, so it's amazing. me. And LA is Persian. But here's the thing. Really, I want to thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. As we wait for Tehran to come. He's going to be here any moment, by the way. Very funny. I'm half black, half Persian, which is what makes me so remixed. Right? And um, I've never seen this many light skinned people in one place. <laughs> it's like Steph, the Stephen Curry's family reunion. <laughs> this is amazing. Even growing up, I always dealt with things through comedy. Because what can you do? You can either laugh or you can cry. You can laugh or you can cry. It's the same thing. Kevin Hart has a special. It's like, laugh at my pain. That's what it really comes from. The best comedians have a lot of pain. People are missing whether they want to or not. Yeah. And that's why that the resistance or racism that's left over is really just the past. The future is everyone in this room. We're all mixing. There's a billion Indian people in the world. Eventually, someone you know will sleep with one. <laughs> they will be mixed. Everyone will be beige in 50 years. It will be... The race the of the future. The race. We will all look like Bruno Mars. Like race is such a touchy subject, and I believe that comedy allows people to learn. Comedy is information. It's informative, and it allows us to tell you how people are feeling. We know how you're feeling. We know what you're thinking, because we've looked at life from both sides, not to be so cliche. And we know what you mean. White people don't like racial humor. I can tell you that much, particularly when a white person's telling it. Uh, you can hear the sphincters tightening in the room. <laughs> and if there's no black people in the audience, they don't laugh because they're afraid so like... Well, right, be like, right because first of all, you need permission mm -hmm. and they don't want to feel like they're at a clan rally. So, uh, <laughs> if I wrote for, you know, six foot four biracial mulatto dudes who look like Lithuanian rugby players, <laughs> I would not sell a lot of books, and I already don't sell a lot of books. When it comes to race, we're always going to want to identify with one or the other because as people, we like compartmentalizing everything. However, as time goes on, my generation and hopefully the generation after me and so forth, race won't be important. We'll all realize that there's really only one race, and that's just the human race. When you look at someone like President Obama and they call him the first black president, and we're all sitting like, wait, he's really? the first mixed president. Right. You know, he's half white. What, are we denying his mother? Is that what we're doing at this point? And yes, that is exactly what we're doing at this point. <laughs> I think that this festival, the Remix Festival, does so much for everyone because it allows people to know how we feel as mixed people and how one day this world's going to be all mixed. At one point, we're all going to be mixed and it's going to really be hard to know why you hate somebody or how you hate somebody. or You're going to have to love everybody at one point. My grandmother would never say black. She's from the South. She's always colorful. It's always colorful. Find yourself a nice colorful boy. Why can't you? I was like, there's too many good looking Puerto Ricans around with big afros. Hey! Okay. 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 Okay.